This is Joe. We're in Jasper, Georgia, and I am hungry. In the name of justice, I'm gonna be as fair and as impartial as I can be in judging between the big four. Today, we're doing the Big Four Pizza Place Chicken Wing Taste Test. There are a ton of places, too numerous to count, to get chicken wings. We're gonna try Little Caesars Pizza, Domino's Pizza, Pizza Hut, and lastly, Papa John's. There may be others you want me to consider. Leave that in the comments. The reason I'm in Jasper doing this is because they're all pretty consolidated in one area and I don't have to drive too far. Now when we order these things, we're gonna order them all plain with no dipping sauce. I wanna keep everything consistent. And as usual, at the end of the video, we will do the overnight refrigerator taste test. Those of you out there who can't eat everything you order will know how well they're surviving the refrigerator overnight and whether you can safely eat them again the next morning. We're gonna see which one of them comes out on top. I have the table. We have the first wings from Domino's. They come in an eight pack. These are plain. Here's your wings wrapped in foil. It comes with the blue cheese. It set me back about $8 for uh, eight pieces. They were cooked to order because I watched them cook to order. So let's take a look at them. They look good. And let's subject them to the Joe's bite test. Mm. Oh, they're hot. They are tasty, not tough, very moist. To me, they're a little smallish, but not bad. I give them a seven or eight because they're cooked fresh. I think it could be a little bit more salty, maybe even a little bit bigger. And they do give you the default dipping sauce. That's good. It took about 10 minutes for them to make them. Let's move on to the next place. I'm at the Jasper, Georgia Little Caesars. And guess what? It's closed. Rumor has it that all the employees walked out. Why? I don't know. Thank you, Little Caesars, for throwing a monkey wrench into my video. So, I'll just have to go over to Calhoun and get the chicken wings there. Guys. We are at Pizza Hut getting our Wing Street Pizza Hut wing. This is a six pack and it set me back nearly $9. Kind of pricey. Let's see what they give me. But first, and guess what? Two places now. Nobody has Diet Coke. Ah! It has Wing Street embossed on it. Looks like it holds an alien or something in it. The wings are pretty attractive. A little bit bigger than, uh, say, Domino's. But we get six wings, so we get a little less. So, before we take our bite test, Diet Pepsi. Ready for the Joe bite test. They're definitely cooked fresh, cooked to order. When I first bite into it, I feel like I'm gonna taste some hot wing. The meat looks whiter. Good solid eight. Good flavor, no aftertaste. Needs a little salt, but I think everything needs salt. A little pricey for six wing. So, let's we'll end this and let's get on to the next one. Papa John's, here's the box that it comes in. They cost about eight bucks. They smell good. So far, we're three out of three. All three of these guys have cooked them to order. And Virginia, I do clean this thing, believe it or not. We got one more to go after that. Let's get on with this and get the old taste test going. Meaty, it has a little more flavor to it. Maybe a shade saltiness, more of a smoky taste. One thing I don't like about it, does not have a deep fried hard crust on it. They're tender, but the lack of a crust and a, and a true breading on it, it's almost like there's a rubberiness, kind of this smoky taste to it. I'm gonna give it a seven out of one to 10. 
because it lacks a deep fried hard crust. And of course, you all know I'm mad at Papa John's because Papa John's not even there anymore. I'm surprised they had the Papa John sign in the place. Anyway, let's move on. Finally, we're here at Little Caesar. I had to drive all the way to Calhoun, which is nearly 35 miles from Jasper. In order to complete this video, and in the interest of science, I went out of my way. Now when you order chicken wings from Little Caesars, you get six chicken wings for six and a half dollars. They're hot, but they were not cooked to order. I ordered them and they handed them to me in like in 10 seconds. No way is that cooked to order. They smell a little smoky. They have a kind of a crust on them. Let's get on with the bite test. They're hot, they're tasty, a little spice, and these are plain chicken wings. I don't like spicy. <clears throat> they're spicy. They have pepper in them. Actually, they're burning my mouth, and it's not the heat. Leave it to Calhoun to screw up food. Mm. I had high hopes for Little Caesars, actually. We'll give it one more try, and we'll send these rest to the refrigerator for tomorrow morning. These are a little spicy. I don't like spice. They told me that they were not spicy. It says just Caesar wings. So did they hand me the wrong ones or is that the way they normally come? Like I say, leave it to a food place in Calhoun to screw the food up. Boom, you're out of here. This test is about plain chicken wings and see who makes the best. I've had all four of them. So it's really kind of a hard choice. Pizza Hut wings were pretty good. They had a little crust on them, however, they were charging more than a dollar a wing because they charged a little over eight bucks for six wings. Papa John's were rubbery. Didn't really like them that well. I, I would probably roll with Domino's. Um, they offer a value. They were cooked to order. The staff was friendly and accommodating. You may think of another chain for me to check. Leave that in the comments. But these, to me, they suck. This concludes the fresh test. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna throw them in the microwave, taste them again and see how they survive. Let's move on to the warm up taste test in the morning. Hey everybody, this is Joe, and welcome to the morning after. This is where we reheat the chicken wings we collected yesterday. Clearly, Domino's came out on top. Let's see if they can hold their position after they've been in the microwave. We've got them all heated up. I would like to say one thing as a word of caution. Papa John's and Domino's wrap their chicken wings in foil. We all know that microwaves and foil don't mix. On to the taste test. Let's go with Papa John's. I kind of didn't like them yesterday. I thought they were rubbery. Give it the old bite test. They're kind of sticking together. They did firm up a little bit. Not quite so rubbery. Not as bad as yesterday. Although they're still a little bit mushy. Let's try another one. Still pretty tough. I can't really bite them apart. Not very appealing. The next one is Little Caesars. I didn't like them yesterday because they were spicy. These are the plain ones, believe it or not. Not rubbery. I can still taste that spice in there, but amazingly enough, tender. Not like this gristle-laden box of feeding hell. And the heat has dissipated. These guys came up a notch in the game. I was really disappointed in them yesterday. Not so much now. Little Caesars are edible if you like that flavor. Third, is we're gonna go to Wing Streets. Pizza Hut. Let's give them a little trial and see how they are. They actually weren't bad yesterday. Still tasty. A little bit rubbery. Can't hardly bite through the skin. Let's give a little drumstick or the drumette a try. That's usually the toughest part, but not bad. Flavor is pleasing. It should be for an extra quarter. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm gonna talk with my mouth before. I like those. Those weren't bad. The shade rubbery in a couple spots, but also doable. Now, save the best for last. I like these better yesterday than anybody else's. So let's see if Domino's will hold the chicken wing crown of the big four. Not rubbery, still intact. Taste is still mild, but it held its composure. Let's give a little drumettes a chance and see if I can gnaw those apart. 
Not too rubbery, but edible. They held their own pretty good. Domino's still lacks the seasoning as yesterday. Actually, it's blanded it out a little bit more. It's really a hard choice. I'm kind of stuck between Pizza Hut, Wing Street, and Domino's. I'm actually gonna have a little change of heart here. I think uh, Wing Street are slightly better than these now. They have a little bit more flavor as far as consistency, chewiness, and rubberiness. Neither one of them were bad, a little bit here, but I'm gonna have to give it to these guys, even though they're more expensive. If you find any of this content interesting, don't forget to subscribe at the end and hit the notify button as I make these videos about once a week. So, until the next time. Shout out to... I can't thank Christy too much for giving me the idea for this video. These things are gross. Diet Coke. I really mean it this time. <coughs> shout out to Sierra. So shout out to Christy for the idea of doing this very video.